What's up YouTube, Cognos here. Uh, this is going to be the first video in a series of videos where I go over each car in the game Circuit Superstars, give you some tips, some tricks, some strategies to use them the most effectively so you can lower your lap times, start winning those online races, and just overall get a better feel and handle for each of the cars. And the first in that series is the Pacino, um, the Mini, the uh, Fiat, whatever you want to call it. So um, if anything in the video is helpful to you, make sure you like and subscribe on the channel and keep coming back for more content because I'm going to do the whole series on every car. So with that, let's get into it. All right, the Pacino, the old Pacino, the, uh, the Mini Cooper, the Fiat 500, the as I like to call them, the go-kart of circuit superstars. And I say that because there is no better car at learning the fundamentals of the game. It is the single best starting point, jumping off point, whatever you want to call it, for getting your feet wet in circuit superstars. It really has a way of teaching you the physics of the game, what weight feels like, um, how to sort of adapt to different circumstances when you're surrounded by cars, or there's a sharp parapin, or you have to you know, maneuver your way through an S section. The Pacino is the single greatest teacher. And the reason for that is because the only thing that the Pacino wants you to do is drive smoothly. It's a slow car, right? So everything is about carrying the speed that you can build up over the course of a lap, over the course of like a long straight. The car doesn't want you to slam the brakes. It wants you to be able to just lift off the accelerator and kind of treat it gently. Like it doesn't need much input. Um, the less that you do, the faster you're going to be in the Pacino. And it's honestly, that sort of general principle right there could be applied to every car in the game. Um, but the Pacino especially, just because of the way that the car is built, you know, it's top end and, and you know, the way that it behaves in cornering. Driving it smoothly is how you're gonna get the best results, hands down. When it comes to braking, kind of like I just mentioned, a tap is all the car needs. Honestly, it probably doesn't even need that. I mean, you can probably drive around pretty much every track in Circuit Superstars without even touching the brake and still have like a respectable lap time. The car is so light that you feel it. As soon as you let your, you know, your finger off of the accelerator, right? It's gonna start decelerating. Um, and honestly, you know, in a lot of the gameplay footage that you're seeing, I'm not even using the brake through the majority of the turns. It has minimal drift. Um, it has incredible traction. So really what you wanna do is just set yourself up like a little tap before you enter into, a tap of the brake before you enter into the turn and then just keep your foot on the accelerator all the way through because the car is not going to slip out on you. The back end's not going to, you know, you're not going to come spinning around like unless you're in the dirt. The car isn't going to spin itself out. Um, it, you just have faith in that. And that's another thing too that you can really take and apply to the rest of the game is that, you know, unless you're on like 15, 20% tires, you know, you're glued down onto the track. Like trust the car, trust the physics of the game trust your own ability um, and just stay on that accelerator and again because the Pacino is is such a low top-end car you have to learn how to drive it as smooth as possible like race against yourself like you can see in the video here I'm just racing myself in a practice and the reason for that is because every lap you know I get a little bit better every lap if I'm beating myself it means I'm definitely improving right and um, the other cool thing about the Pacino too is, is it kind of teaches you some of the advanced stuff in the game, like learning how to draft, um, driving in a pack of cars. A lot of people struggle with that early on. They're like afraid that they're going to, you know, rear end somebody, ruin somebody's race. But the Pacino is the end all be all when it comes to teaching you the way that circuit superstars want you to drive and mastering the Pacino will master every car for you in the long run. Um, it's a great car. Every time it comes up in the online lobbies, I pick it. So with that, um, we're going to wrap up the video. I'm trying to do these in little bite-sized clips. Mm -hmm. 